Okay, ladies, so this is card number six that we're going to do now of the Hydrangea Haven card kit. And um, let's get it going. This is the card. It's really simple, very pretty, very elegant. Um, just realized I don't have a whole card kit. Okay, let me just pull one out here. And so this is what is in your kit. There's your cardstock, your card base, which is here. I'm just gonna fold that in half. And then you have a piece of gorgeous grape and a piece of basic white, which has been embossed with um, a textured embossing folder. So let's go ahead and put those two together. Oops. Little guy's running over there. Just leave that little border around the edge. <clears throat> and then we're gonna take our ribbon which is right here. You should have a roll of this in your packet. And we're just going to go ahead and attach this ribbon to the um, two layers that we have here. And trim that off. And then I'm gonna attach that to my card front. Okay. Alrighty. And then I have, you have two pieces. Actually, you should have two pieces of this, white, and then another one of the gorgeous grape. Oh no, I forgot to cut my paper. Sorry guys. So we're gonna cut the designer series paper and I'm gonna slip this underneath there. We're gonna cut it at three, no, we're gonna cut three of them at one by three and three quarters. So these are three separate pieces. Let me grab my paper trimmer. So we'll start out with the three and three quarters first. And then I'm just gonna cut three of them at one inch. And hopefully this piece of paper is three inches, it is. There's one, there's two, and there's the third one. This is what happens when you make something and then you don't, um, you don't do it for a while. You forget. Because I made this card way back in the beginning of January. Okay, so that one is not one of them, and that is not, those are scraps. So this one will be the tricky one, the one in the middle. And I'm just gonna slip it underneath here. You guys should do this before you put your ribbon on. It works much easier. But you know what? That worked. There it is. Okay, now I can put the other two on. And I'm just gonna leave a little bit of space in between them, just like that. Come down here. If I can guesstimate how much space in between an eighth of an inch probably. Okay, now we've got our base done. So then I'm gonna come back and on this, one of these pieces of basic white, and your instructions say whisper white. That shows you how long ago I did this because it was done when we had whisper white still. So I'm going to stamp my hydrangea in Memento. And this is one of those big stamps, and so you want to do ink to stamp rather than stamp to ink so that you can be sure you have it all color covered. And I'm just going to stamp that right on there. Okay. 
Oops, I went off the edge, didn't I? Okay, we're gonna turn it over and try it again. I forgot about that leaf. So the paper's a little small, so watch all the edges. Um, I think if I go this way, I'll probably be better off. Um, <laughs> I should have cut that paper a little bit larger, huh? Thought it was gonna be big enough. It is. Okay, then I'm going to come back and in this, in this set, there are um, stamps that will color your image. So this is the leaf, the stem and the leaf. And let's get that inked up good. And stamp off and check it because you might need to, for some reason my mossy meadow pads seem to be dissolving lately. <laughs> They don't hold the ink. So I'm gonna stamp directly on. If yours is a fresh one, a new one, I recommend you stamp off first. And you're just gonna line up those leaves and hope for the best. <laughs> Good, it does not stamp exactly. See how this is a little bit up and this is outside of it. It's okay, that's the way the stamp was designed. And the same thing with this one. This is the one we're gonna to use to color the flower and I'm using Gorgeous Grape for that. And this one, I don't know. It never, I never figured out exactly how to place it. It's kinda of like, do I want my overhang here or there or where do I want it? Um, you know, it's not, that way it's worse. This way, maybe. Just keep turning it until you find a way that looks good to you. I'm gonna go with this. Because your dye is gonna cut out part of it anyway. I'm not gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with this. I don't know. I can't figure it out. Okay. This seems to be the best. And I have an overhang at the top here and at the bottom here, there's a big section. But that seems to be the one that's gonna cover it the most. Okay, and then you, there's a die in the, <clears throat> in the bundle that cuts out the hydrangea, just like that. So I'm gonna go cut it out real quick. There it is. Okay, so <clears throat> let's get our card back in here. And I'm gonna attach the hydrangea to my piece of white cardstock here, but let me attach that to my gorgeous grape first. And then I'm gonna put this on here. Whoa, <laughs> I got a few dimensionals there. Okay, let's just put it there. Okay, let's put that on there, just like that. And we'll get rid of those. Okay, and then I'm gonna stamp the little greeting that says, with love, on my little tag. You should have a little tag in your kit. And I think I wanna do that in Gorgeous Grape. It's a little darker. Where did I put my Gorgeous Grape right here? It's just a little darker, so it'll give me a little bit better. There we go, that is better. Okay, 
So it could be stamped in black as well. All right, so then I'm gonna tie a bow. If you have trouble tying bows, be sure to check out my um, bow tying video that I did. On, and it's on YouTube and it's on, where else? It's on my blog and it's on my Facebook page. It's in three places now. So check it out and see if that'll help you. And I'm gonna put this on with a glue dot right here. And I'm gonna attach my little tag to the ribbon. And then I'm gonna attach, put another glue dot on this and attach it to my flower. And there we are. All right, so we're gonna attach this to our card front. I've kind of gotten twisted around here, huh? With dimensionals. Just like that. And then I finished off by adding the pearls. They're the um, Paisley pearls, which are in your kit. Pastel pearls, that's what they're called, sorry. Not Paisley, that doesn't look anything like Paisley, does it? Okay, pastel pearls. And so I use the light purple. And let me get my take your pick tool. Whoops, wrong one. Let's see, there it is. And let's just pick that up off there. Oh, I think I need to replace my the head on my tool because I think it has reached its point. And you guys know you can buy a new head for these tools. Uh, there's a little bit more in there. Okay. No, I used the darker ones on this. Okay, there we go. So when you use this, you wanna just kinda of slide it and that will, I could have gone a little lower on that. And let's put it over here. I'm just gonna stick that there. <laughs> okay, thank you, this is number six. So I'll see you at number seven.